Alright, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and today I am revisiting Battle Royale which is the very first video I did on my channel. Now I did that one when the mod just came out so it was brand new, we didn't have these division or XP systems back then, we didn't even have the 50-50 option back then. Um, so yeah, but over the past few weeks I've been playing this game a lot. Uh, over on Twitch, so if you want to play with me or you would if you want to play against me um, Make sure to check out my Twitch uh, in the description and yeah, we can play at any time uh, that I'm streaming But anyway um, today I want to revisit Battle Royale and uh, Over the past few weeks. I think I've gotten much better at the game. So I want to do it with a bit of a challenge so I will not be using the 50-50s, um, I will also not be moving in this video uh, and then I will also as a third and most difficult restriction uh, only allow myself to guess one country. So if I get the wrong country I'm out. So usually you get three um, uh, three countries to choose, uh, you have like three lives per round but essentially for us it's just one country. So, yeah, three restrictions and should be hard with this skill based matchmaking of sorts. So, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to get a, a win, <laughs> but we'll see. <clears throat> so, we're driving on the right, it looks like. Um, sun is kind of in the middle, doesn't really help me. Is that a yellow number plate? Can't tell. There's no rifts in the sky, so Albania. I don't really think it's Montenegro either, not Andorra. But the guy who guessed Albania got it right, so that makes me think it could be Montenegro. I will have to estimate based on other people's guesses here. Um, quite often to help me get the right one. USA, America, I doubt it, we have a small antenna but I don't necessarily know what countries have it, so if we don't get anything else I guess Montenegro is the most reliable option right now, unless this guy just tried to troll us and throw us off, ok Macedonia, let's see if this person gets it. Three people got it. They did get it. I think I might have to go with Montenegro. It was Montenegro indeed. Uh -uh. So I felt like these mountains looked a bit barren to be Montenegro, but um, I was clearly wrong about that. Um, but that's okay because we made it uh, and we are already in top 5. Now the sun is in the south. Is this a black number plate? Huh. But the architecture looks very European. I think that's an EU number plate. I can't really tell. Huh. Okay, Germany has been guessed. 24. This is a bit annoying because we don't really have uh, any language here. So, oh wait, wait, we have something here. Ulika Renaissanceova. Where could that be from? Okay, they're just getting it directly, which is not helping me. Poland, maybe? The W, okay, I don't have any more guesses to get help from. Let's just go for it. It was Poland, indeed. Nice. The OWA just sounded very Polish to me, so that's what I guess based on. Oh, that helps. So we are hopefully just in Japan. Hopefully Nike, ah, they, they did guess it in time. Oh, they got it wrong though. Nice, it's 1v1 already. 
come on please let me win okay these lines seem like it's either South Africa, Lesotho, Botswana or Eswatini it's gonna be a bit of a gamble we got it first game and we won oh wow I did not expect this cha challenge to be that easy but um, wow I'm surprised and hopefully that shows you how much I've improved at the game as well um, so I'm extremely happy with that uh, 100 XP not bad at all uh, but yeah the logic here was that South Africa, Botswana, Lesotho and Eswatini all have sort of these yellow lines on the side of the road and if you are usually in Eswatini or Botswana I mean Eswatini or Lesotho you'll see some hills it'll be a little more green than this this looks very dry and barren and sort of flat so that's what kind of pointed me to, towards Botswana it could have been South Africa as well um, so that would have been my next guess but luckily it was right so <laughs> that's that's very nice I'm very happy that we got it in the first game itself so let's do another battle royale this time um, and let's just have a normal game uh, but let's just do it with no moving. Let, let's allow ourselves three guesses this time. We already accomplished the challenge, so we don't have to stress about it again. But I would like to get it with the challenge rules again as well. So that's not out of the picture. It's not Russia, so I think it's Ukraine. Um, Indeed it is. So let's try to get it in the first guess every time. Um, but in case we don't, then <clears throat> I guess I don't have to be so strict on myself this time. Uh, but of course, I'm just going to do a no moving just to keep it at least somewhat challenging. But I'm actually surprised that I nailed that challenge in my first go. That is quite insane for sure. Um, but yeah, looks like everyone's getting it. Uh, eight people have got it already. Make that nine. And let's wait and see if this person also gets it. It shouldn't be that hard, hopefully. We'll see. But yeah. Um, it's, it's There's quite a lot to learn in this game. And... That's something I've realized over the past few weeks. Stockholm, Handelsbanken, that has to be Sweden. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things um, to learn in this uh, game. Um, so certain countries have certain road lines, some have certain uh, type of road signs or different bollards as well. There's even a meta to the Google car which is a bit questionable if you would like to use it or not but um, I mean if you're playing battle royale then you have to use whatever tool you got but in this specific round it looks like we don't have many tools on our side South Africa is a decent guess for sure there's a bullet there that I can't really see Spain Three people got it just instantly. This does look a bit like Lesotho to me. Let's go for it. Why not? It's not, okay. It's not Eswatini either. Uh, I think I might be knocked out here. I'm not exactly sure. Can't really see this bullard vegetation just looks hmm. it's none of the African South African countries ah. it's not Portugal not Spain could be Turkey maybe well it's not like I have much of a choice right now oh it was Australia okay I got it on the third guess um, so yeah I'm glad I allowed myself three guesses this time um, that's a Ukrainian flag I think so 
mean it's probably just worth marking it makes things easier but uh, these are some interesting road lines I've not seen them it is not Ukraine which is interesting is that f the Finnish flag it's not but this is written in English Roscommon race course the sun is in the sun. Oh, we're driving on the left. Ah, I did not notice that. So it's this island then. Okay, should have seen that. So if we are driving on the left and the sun is in the south, it usually means it is the UK or Ireland. Or if, an, if you're in Asia, it could be like Japan. Um, but those are some good hints. So again, we have the same road lines that I mentioned last game. And the sun should be in the north indeed. So this should be probably Botswana again. It's not. Not even South Africa. It could be Espadini. It is. Nice. So, <clears throat> indeed, these road lines are very typical to those four countries. So, that's a sort of a tip from today's video. If you didn't know about it, if you see these kind of road lines, you're usually in one of those four countries. South Africa, Botswana, Lesotho, or Eswatini. So four people have got it so far. And we are waiting on the fifth. And the fifth didn't get it. Interesting. Okay, this should be easy because of the rift in the sky. Oh, actually... That's South Korean, so this is a rare South Korean rift. Usually a rift in the sky is found in Ghana, I'm sorry, not Ghana, in Senegal, Albania or Montenegro. But then occasionally you find some rare rifts in UAE, apparently even in South Korea as we saw right now. So that's the thing. Is that... Huh. I think this might be Israel. That language. Yeah, that is definitely Israel. If I'm quick enough to... Oh, I'm not quick enough. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit unfortunate. Um, but nonetheless, uh, that was quite a good, good game. Um, and of course, we achieved the challenge, so it's okay. Uh, let's quickly look at this one. If I had to guess this, I would probably go with South Africa. Um, let's see if I'm right. It's, actually, I don't know, but I'm, I would go with South Africa here. Not Lesotho. Oh, it's Botswana. Okay, so I was in the right region. Anyway. Um, but that's it for today's video. I achieved the challenge, so I'm quite happy with that. And... Yeah, let me know what level you guys are in Battle Royale in the comments. And yeah, subscribe if you're new, that's all. Um, and if you have any other tips for me that I might have missed in this video, then do let me know that as well, because I would still like to improve. Um, so yeah, that's it for today, and thank you for watching.